Hi and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast video. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the biggest headlines in crypto, the stuff you must know about. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and don't forget to jump down in the discord it's absolutely free to join over 7,000 people supporting one another navigate this space safely fantastic community and it's definitely worth immersing yourself in a fantastic community within crypto right let's get down to the desktop Okay, so we're going to start here and uh, Westpac bans uh, transfers to world's largest crypto exchange, Binance. Bank customers can no longer make payments to cryptocurrency exchange in a move to reduce scams. And it's rather interesting, isn't it, that, you know, it's to reduce scams and uh yeah, look, I don't know if that's just the the headline aspect of things. Uh, really, for me, uh, traditional banks look to to be failing and uh, they're struggling for liquidity as people move into other financial instruments like cryptocurrency. And because of the odd scam here and there, that's being utilised as an excuse that the banks are wanting to, to use to stop payments into crypto exchanges and what better way to, to do it than to, you know, stranglehold, I guess, the biggest crypto exchange in the world, Binance. And uh, obviously there's lots of, um, I guess, noise around, you know, uh, Binance potentially being like a scam and or a, or a potential fraud and a bit like FTX. I really think that this is just sour grapes from some of the wealthiest and most powerful people in the US that were heavily integrated with FTX and uh, Sam Bankman Freed uh, and their their family and entourage. So um, it's it's interesting. It's it's one of those. There seems to be an awful lot of noise, um, accusations and stuff like that when it comes to Binance, but not a lot of stuff to back it up. There's no real evidence of any of the things that are being articulated, at least that I have seen personally. So yeah, it's it's an interesting one, and uh, again, it's it's supportive of like the you know the banking Ponzi scheme that exists with traditional banking finance. But let me you know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below um i think that a lot of these countries are going to fall behind when it comes to technology um we've got singapore's um wapa uh group i'm probably butchering that name plans to set up a digital bank in baran uh baran baran terrible talking today i don't know what's up with me uh open and, and to open uh crypto um to, to clients right so the bank has established a year end uh for global customer base crypto firms are seeking new payment rails after the us tormel so look i i do think that there's an awful lot of stuff going on uh, when it comes to the traditional banking sector lots of doors closing because of everything that's been you know going on with ftx and so forth and binance and uh other you know failures like uh, celsius voyager and so forth and um yeah, look, I've, I, I I do believe that, you know, one door closes, another one will open and uh, eventually crypto will just be centralized in, you know, cent I, I guess areas around the world that are willing to, to adopt the technology. And, uh, you know, I do think there's a lot of scaremongering going on, uh, particularly when it comes to to the scams and stuff like that, that are being used as a, a, a way to, to basically encourage people to, um, you know, stick with stick with your traditional banking uh, service because that's safe because banks don't fail. Um, but we all know that they do. So Coinbase officially opens subscription service expands reach outside the US. Now this one is interesting and I, I do want people's thoughts and opinions on Coinbase One, their new uh, product that they're you know putting out here, which is uh, in beta apparently. It launches uh, in, in countries including the UK, Germany, Ireland, um, in addition to the US, which is another interesting one, but it's twenty nine ninety nine a month. Yeah, there'll be no trading fees, uh, and staking rewards will be higher. So look, it's an interesting one. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of feel like I think one of the the strap lines was twenty four hour customer service. Like not being funny, I, I kind of expect that from an exchange. Anyway, if I'm doing business with you, I kind of expect twenty four hour um, support 
where required. So look, I I don't think it's 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 the greatest thing ever. Like I, I don't know, I, I was expecting something a bit better. But um, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I guess if you've got huge, you know. Um, amounts of trades and stuff like that then brilliant but you know there are other exchanges that are doing free uh trading fees and and all sorts of different things you know throughout time so yeah an interesting one but again i, I i'm not sure it's going to be a success uk lawmaker uh, lawmakers group clashes with treasury over trading unbacked crypto as gambling and uh, this is one that Nick and the the guys caught up a, a little bit earlier on on uh, yesterday's podcast. Um, you know, talking about you know could it be treated as gambling? I think there's elements of it that could very much be treated as as gambling, but I don't think you know overall crypto can be uh, regulated that way. I, I don't really see um, it any different to stocks and you know stuff like that so uh, for me yeah i'm i'm surprised to 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 see this but you know i think trading yeah definitely uh you know put trading down as gambling i mean don't get me wrong if you put it all as gambling brilliant tax free love it uh, pakistan announces fresh ban on crypto but adoption as a hedge remains popular so look again countries around the world it all just seems negative there's a pullback in the market um, you know, a lot of this pullback, in my opinion, is happening because of the US debt ceiling and so on. So, yeah, look, it's interesting, interesting times. And we'll see what 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 happens, um, you know, when it comes to some of these bans. But I do think that they're just going to you know, get overturned. I really do. Um, here we've got uh, bankrupt bankrupt. I can't talk today. Crypto lender Voyager Digital predicts 35 percent customer payout so basically instead of getting 100 percent of your crypto back you're likely to only get 35 percent of what you held on voyager sucks i know but it's better than nothing and uh you know it's one of those we've got to learn our lessons self-custody is the way expect ripple deal to set off crypto custodian m and a says advisory firm ripple purchase custodian company for what 250 million dollars recently and uh regulatory and market conditions could lead to further deals according to to, to these individuals here right and uh what i would say is like custodian services is going to be a very very interesting um thing moving forward for for crypto because i do expect there to be something around regulations that's very positive for traditional companies or traditional finance banking companies the banks um compared to, to crypto exchanges and, and so forth so i'm expecting some regulatory um rules to to be or laws to be passed when it comes to custodian uh being a custodian of cryptocurrency like um we're, we're seeing um coinbase partner up with i think this is a, a move that we will see more companies doing uh, more exchanges and even banks kraken uk trade body um lawmaker dis uh, description of crypto as gambling again just uh, more articles on this rather interesting and i do want to get people's thoughts and opinions on it um look that's the kind of biggest news that are going around at the moment that i think people should be aware of i'm expecting the market to be volatile so be careful out there if you're trading if you enjoyed this sort of content mash up the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i will catch you in the next one take care